Shalom, and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom, and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew podcast. Today, I wish to speak about one verse from Genesis 8, 8. In general, chapter 8 speaks about the situation of the flood. In verse 8, we find interesting saying of the Bible regarding the levels of the water. When Noah already wants to see if it's possible to return to land. And so says verse 8. Vayeshalach et hayona meito, and he sent the dove from him, lirot, to see, hakalu hamaim. The English translation writes, if the waters were abated. But the Hebrew says, something completely different because if the Hebrew would like to say the water were abated they would use another verb diminish nechseru pachatu lesser but why hakalu hamaim what is kalu Hakalu, the hey that comes in front of the verb, is to ask if. If. In a biblical way, you ask ha and then the verb or the noun. But what is kalu? If it was written in kaf, in the letter kaf, it was meant are the water over? Are the water over? It's secure now to go out of the ark. But hakalu means something else. Kalu comes from kol. Kol in Hebrew is voice. Voice or a sound. Kuf. Vav. Lamed. Kol is voice or a sound. So Noah sent the dove from him to see if the water has sound, if the water has sound above the face of the earth. What does it mean if the water has sound above the face of the earth? Usually, if we take a bottle and we fill the bottle until the end with water and then we take a cork or any kind, some, any kind of sealing, we seal the bottle and we shake the bottle there will be no sound because the water are filling everything until the end. But if, let's say, we fill the bottle only half or three quarters and we seal it and then we shake it, there will be, in. if we shake it, we shall hear the sound of water because the air carries the sound. So, what does the Bible mean when he says, the Bible says, Lirot hakalu hamaim, meaning to see if the water has a sound. So, if there is a sound, it means there is air. Not everything is covered with water. Once there is air, avir in Hebrew, there's also 
light, because the word for avir, alif, vav, yod, resh, carry also the letters of the word light in Hebrew, o, alif, vav, resh. So if there is air, there is grace, people can breathe, and there is light also. So this is what the Bible mean by the question Lirot to see Hakalu Hamaim Hakalu if they if there's a voice like we say in Psalms the voice of Lord Kol Hashem Al Hamaim the voice or the sound of the Lord upon the water. It's not just water alone, but there's also a component of air, of grace, of the covenant. Why do I say that? If we look only to the word kol in Hebrew, kof, vav, lamed. Kof is one, lamed is thirty, vav is six. But in little numbers is one, for Kof, Vav is six, together is seven, and Lamed in little numbers is three. So seven plus three is ten. And as we said before, whenever we see the volume of ten, there is covenant between heaven and earth, between the source and human spirit. So if there is a voice, Upon the water, there is a covenant. The covenant come into being. To give you a little example, we shall read the verse from Song of Songs 2.12. But we shall start to read it in verse 11. Ki hine hastav avar, for the autumn already passed. Hageshem, the rain, chalaf halachlo, passed and walked on for itself. Hanitzanim niru ba'aretz. The buds were seen in the country or in the will. Et hazamir higia. The time of the nachtingel has come. Vekol hator. And the voice of the turtle dove, nishma be'artzenu, was heard in our country or in our will. Please pay attention, Vekol hato, and the sound or the voice of the turtle dove was heard in our country or in our will. What is kol hato? Not just the voice of the turtle dove, the physical. Tor is a masculine form of the word Torah. Torah is the five books of Moses. Tor is the masculine form of it. The call hator and the voice or the sound that people speak the words of truth has been heard in our will, in our country. This was our little conversation for today. We wish you a beautiful day and wonderful week. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlife.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos, and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlive.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kol Tuv and Shalom.